Track four then now, only for love, Limau. Uh, it was his debut solo single after he was fired by his uh, bandmates of Kajagoogoo. It was released in November 1983. It only reached number 16. I say only. I mean, it was still a top 20 hit. But I suppose after the first three tracks, it's it's not as successful. But um, yeah, um, only for love. What do you think? Well, I have to say, listening to the now albums, as, as we discussed at the start of the show, um, I've got all the new albums from one to hundred. When you listen to some of the more recent, the the, the older albums, that um, some of the tracks don't age well. For me, this is a track that is more of its time and hasn't aged as well as as others. It's got a very much new romantic sort of sound um, from the early eighties, but yeah, didn't didn't cut cut it for me. Um, listening to it more recently, um, as you said, top twenty single. First of only two UK top 20 singles that uh, Limal had. Um, do you know how he got into Kajagoogoo? No, no. How did he get into Kajagoogoo? Well, apparently he was uh, he was working as a waiter, not in a cocktail bar. Oh. And uh, one of the people that he uh, was became, met was uh, Nick Rhodes, the keyboard player from Duran Duran. So Nick Rhodes co-produced uh, the first Kajagoogoo single, which we will be hearing a little later in the show. We, we will. Do you know where the surname, the, the name Lamal comes from? Uh, no. Where does the surname come from? Right. So Lamal's real name is Chris Hamill. If Whoa. you take the surname and you've got an anagram, you have Lamal. Oh, that is that is that is good pub quiz <laughs> trivia. That is, I like that. I like that. As you uh, said, he only lasted with Pajagoogo for six months before they had a differing of opinion, and uh, uh, Lamal went on to a, a very brief solo career. 